In today's video, we're going to be talking about the winner mindset. So the thing about a winner is, as you read even by the title, as winners, we don't take L's. The L's that we take are straight lessons. So let's get into the first part about having a winner mindset. So when you have a winner mindset, you must identify yourself as a winner. Do you look at yourself in the mirror and say, am I a winner or am I a loser? And you got to seriously ask yourself these questions. Like ask yourself right now, are you a winner or are you a loser? So the thing about a winner and a winner mindset, a winner always thinks about growth and abundance. Like that's the most key important part. And the thing about a winner is the winner mentality in a person is that person always looking to grow. They look at all their circumstances in their life and they look at their weaknesses and they look at their strengths. What part of your life are you lacking in that you need to work on? A winner's always creating solutions to fix their problems. A winner doesn't sit there and think about all the fuck shit that's going on in their life. They think about, okay, what am I gonna do to become a better person? What am I gonna do for this to change? And in order to change your life, you must change yourself. The winner always has a plan. A plan to take action. The main thing about a winner, a winner is fearless. He's not afraid to lose. He goes into every situation thinking he's gonna win. A winner goes into a situation not thinking, well, maybe if this, no. No maybes, no buts, no ands, or no what's. Like what might happen, but this. But, but this circumstance is showing me that maybe I can't do this. Or maybe I might not get this house. Maybe I might not get this girl. Why are you thinking like that? And a lot of people in this law of assumption community probably have a loser mentality. Yeah, you do to a certain extent, but you need to care more about becoming the solution to your problems. We don't sit here and dwell on what we don't want because we're just gonna keep getting what we don't want. If you focus on the things that you want in life and becoming the change that you seek to see, you will begin to win. And you keep persisting in that mentality. If you have the loser mentality of, oh, I can't do this, it's not possible, you will never win in life. You must be the operant power. You must be the reason why things change in your life. You must get up off your ass and do something big. If you sit here all day not doing shit, you're a loser. Do you want to be a winner today? Do you? Ask yourself that. If you're watching this, ask yourself that. Do you want to be a winner today? Do you want to succeed in life? Well, the first step you have to do is change your mentality. What are you focusing on on a daily basis? What are the conversations that you're having within your mind? A lot of people don't understand is that these conversations you play in your mind, you're creating that story. Are you creating a winning story or are you creating a losing story? Because on the daily basis, if you guys haven't realized this yet, which a lot of y'all probably have if you're subscribed to my channel, is that you have daily conversations with yourself and even other people in your own mind. And those conversations you have within your mind are gonna manifest. So if I have this conversation in my head that, oh shoot, like, you know, there's so many problems in my life, like what, like things aren't going my way or anytime something good happens, something bad has to happen. See, that, that that's not a good mentality to have. The next time you go in for that fucking job, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta walk into that job and that interview like you already have the job. You go in there comfortable, not worried about not getting the job. You walk up in that job and you show the person interviewing you or hiring you why, why you deserve that job. You could really sit here and lie to yourself and say, I'm a winner. But how do you pop up towards other people? Are you always telling people negative things? Like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. A winner is a leader. A winner is a risk taker. A winner is a problem solver. So when someone's talking about their problems, are you the first person to say, oh damn, no. You gotta be the person that says, you know what? You can do this. You can get through anything in your life. Like a winner is somebody that wants to see growth within their friends. A winner is a team player. People think, oh, a winner's the biggest boss and he just has all these friends that do whatever they, they tell him to do, but no. A winner puts everybody on the team. A winner allows these people to grow and succeed. A winner isn't, oh, I'm the big dog around all my friends, like I'm way better than my friends. No, a winner wants to see his friends succeed just as much as them or if not better. When you go around with your friends, never put any of your friends down. Never sit here and, and spew negative energy onto your friends or people in general. You should be, a winner goes around and, and, and shows love. A winner goes around with a positive attitude. A winner goes around and wants to see other people win. See, that's the problem. People think a winning mentality or being a winner is being better than everybody else. A winner is not gonna sit there 
and think about all his losses. He's not. But the mistakes that he made in his life, I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to hold themselves accountable. And that's the biggest part of life is holding yourself accountable for the shit that's going on. A lot of people like to point the finger, oh, they did this to me. They did this. They did that. No, a winner says, I'm not a victim of shit. Fuck being that. I'm not going to be in a victim mentality. I'm going to be in a winner mentality. All that fuck shit these people try to pull on me, guess what? I'm bossing up and I'm about to be bigger and I'm about to be stronger. I'm not going to let this weigh me down. Because a lot of people that do a lot of mean, rude, nasty things to people, they want to see those people suffer. They want to see you suffer. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you grow and be the best person that you could be. They don't want that. They would hate to see that. So even if people do do mean, nasty things, guess what? They're projecting their negative ass loser attitude onto you. They want you to suffer like them. That's the thing about life. When people see a winner, I'm going to tell you something. When people see a winner in life, first thing they want to do is shut their shit down. They're like, no, nah, he can't win. Look at how he dresses. Like, I dress nice. You know what I'm saying? I dress nice. I, I, I specifically dress nice for this today. I got my earrings in. I got my chains on. You know what I'm saying? I dress nice because this is how I feel when I win. I feel great. I dress nice. I smell good. I put on cologne. I embody that, that the, my perspective of a winner, right? My perspective of a winner, and this is me personally, everybody might have a different perspective of a winner. The self that I see winning is the is the version of myself that hops on and make, makes YouTube content. I dress nice, I smell good, and I have a positive attitude. Those things right there, you could write down in, in your journal. Four things that make the, that you see yourself doing that makes you feel like a winner because it's all about embodying the state of being a winner. People don't realize that it's all about the feeling. If you don't feel like a winner, you're not going to be a winner. I don't give a fuck how many times you won trophies. Da -da 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 -da. No, because a real winner feels like a winner. A winner, you know what he says? All right, I see what I did wrong in the past. You know, I'll hold myself accountable for anything that I did. I'm going to push that to the side and I'm going to create a new version of myself. Reinvent myself today. What is that? What does the winner do on a daily basis? We can't let our past dictate how we operate with people in this world. We can't. No matter how negative the experiences were, we got to change ourselves. We got to be the change that we seek to see in other people. If you want to be a winner, what does a winner think like? Ask yourself that. And you can even open up a journal and write down things. What does a winner think like? How does he go about his day? How does he talk to his friends? How does he, how does he operate with his parents? How does he operate when he's at work? Like just write those things down and embody that person that you believe is a winner. Having a winner mentality might be difficult because you might have been operating from a losing mentality your whole life based on how you were raised, based on what has happened in the past, based on what even people have told you, even bullies told you that you can't do this shit. You're haters. So what are you gonna do today? Are you gonna be a winner or are you gonna be a loser? I just wanna say thank you if you watched this video. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I hope this video really helps you. You know what I'm saying? I dress nice. I look nice. You know what I'm saying? I try to try to present myself like a winner. Fly as hell. Yeah, I put a lot of time into this video. I took notes on this video. I just want to make sure I'm putting out good content from here on out. Um, you know, thank y'all for 400 subscribers too. That is a blessing. And I, I just want to say I love y'all so much. And, you know, all those 400 subscribers, I hope that y'all, you know what I'm saying? out there winning doing your thing and living life and being happy man that's, that's what it's about so i love y'all and i'm out peace